Everybody's full of garbage, aren't they, over this football and whatever it is, Qatar, can't even say it. I mean, they're all pretending, oh, we've all upset and it's wrong, isn't it? But, you know, the BBC's showing it. So the BBC, are, they're not bothered. And nobody's quit by the looks of it, the BBC. I mean, they're all working for the BBC. Oh, we'll say something. Oh, right. That, that's a real big, isn't it? It's meaningless. No one believes in it. No one's bothered. That's the reality. I mean, you know, take a stance, quit. Don't go, don't don't be a football and pretend you've got a stance and kneel and something. You've got, you just look ridiculous. You've taken the money, just stop pretending. You know, here's the thing. I'd never go and support something that had animal cruelty in it. I just wouldn't dream of it unless I wasn't aware. I mean, obviously, if I wasn't aware, it's difficult, but... Where possible, uh, I would never do it. You know, it's um, things like leather, anything like that, I try and avoid. Uh, because, I mean, you know, but things like this, I'm not that bothered about. I'm sorry, but I don't care about, it sounds awful, but I'm not bothered about human rights in other countries. I'm bothered about animal rights, but you know, if people want to change, it's up to them. They don't think we have the right to tell other countries what to do, I think. I mean, it's a bit... Isn't it a bit nonsense when you've got left-wing people in both England and America banging on, saying how we shouldn't have invaded other countries and how, you know, we shouldn't interfere, blah, blah, blah. And now they're telling us... Oh, we're, we're go they're just telling us they're the ones going to be telling other countries what to do and think. You, know, you can't have it both ways. You know, if it was wrong, if it was wrong for... Us to do it a few years ago, how can it be correct today? Oh, because the left wing know it all, don't they? You know, it's hypocritical, it's all just nonsense, it's rubbish. You know, going to country, but, you know, here's the thing. Why would they care what you think? I don't give two who's, this is a successful country, you know what I mean? By the looks of it, everyone's wealthy. You know, yeah, it looks like if you you know, break the law there, that's it, hands chopped off or death or whatever. I'm sure it's going to go down well when you say, no, you should be more like England. And they'll just turn around and say, what, you mean like, you know, everyone walking around dying drugs? I mean, we've seen videos of Manchester's, everyone's spaced out. You know, the violence and all this. The boy go, oh, we really want that. Don't think so. We'll do it our way, thanks. Oh, no, you should be like us. You know, we've got it correct. Well, we haven't, have we? We've got people dying drugs everywhere. You know, people, if you commit crime in this country, get away with it. It's harder to get into, you know, it's harder to get into prison than it is Oxford. You know, if you get beaten up in this country, the chances are they'll just get a told off. <laughs> it's just, you know, they're not going to give a rat's ass about our views, just like we don't care about theirs. You know, what, what, what sort of... I mean, I keep saying, this is just, you know, hypocrites of the left. They've been telling us for years, especially recently, how the whitey, you know, whitey went into these countries telling them what to do and how we were wrong and scum and all this, and now we do it with them. They're the ones doing it. You can't have it both ways. Right, we're wrong to do it in the past, so you accept it now. You don't go into... A, Quote our brain, your little badges and whatnot, pretending that you care. I mean, most of that, I don't think most people give a rat sass anyway. I mean, seriously, it's just, you know, if you cared, you wouldn't be going, you wouldn't represent, you'd quit the BBC if you slightly cared. I don't believe for a second any of these people, they're just hypocrites to me. Oh, so a comedian on Have I Got News For You had a go out of footballer. Oh, come on. If you, if you really believed it, you, you'd quit the BBC. I was, you know, don't... I mean, that's the comedian. Those two comedians sat there smugly going, telling another footballer that he shouldn't go and get a few quid, to, you know. Sod off. Quit if you believed it. Don't tell... You know what I mean? How are you any different? You work for the BBC. Everyone... If you really believe this, quit the BBC. 
You're just hypocrites. It's just left wing hypocrites. You're coughing to say it's just nonsense. Rubbish. I don't believe a word of it. I think you're nonsense. I mean, I, you know, if it comes down to the rights, I'll support it, but, uh, you know, you know, it sucks, but, you know, it's not our country. It, it, what rights have we to put our beliefs on others? If it works for them, if it doesn't, people will look raw. You know, that's what people do. If you deny people in the country, they get, you know, they get rid of the government one way or other. If they're happy, then, you know, so be it. It's not our country. We don't get to tell other countries, I thought. You know, it's confused messages by the left. One minute they're saying we, we haven't to tell other countries what to do. We're not supposed to go in and, you know, boss countries around. And now we've been told, oh, we're supposed to go in and tell countries what to do. Total hypocrites. Total nonsense. It's boring. I'm not interested. You've lost all credibility. All these lefties have lost credibility straight away. They work for the Beeb. No credibility. You know, stop telling everyone what to do and think and what now. You've no credibility. I'll say what I think now. No interest in what you have to say. You're not credible. 